Hello, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. I'm Holly Urbain from Siler Geospatial Wisconsin. This is the third video talking about some of the tools in the CAD toolbar measure mode. So we're measuring a sidewalk here hooked to a GNSS receiver. To turn on the CAD toolbar, hit the three dot ellipsis and turn on the CAD toolbar. Because we're in measure mode, we're actually seeing all 15 of the control codes. I can use the start chain and then tap the sidewalk command. What happens is it puts sidewalk start automatically applying the start chain code without having to use the multi-code feature. When I measure that shot, observation stored. It's automatically going to turn off the control code to start chain and let me go on my way. Observation stored. Another tool built into the CAD measure toolbar is the offset command. And I skipped it here on purpose so you could see the difference. But by tapping on the offset icon, it's going to ask us how many offsets from this chain do you want? You can have up to four. The south edge of this sidewalk is six feet away and just a little bit lower. So you can see now we have a parallel offset line measuring the other edge of the sidewalk. Here's where we have to make a decision. Are we going to continue on the main sidewalk or do the lateral sidewalk back to the building? I could do end chain, turn off the offset, then go up here and measure this sidewalk shot. But before I take this shot, I can use the join to point. Tap on the point that we just shot and it's automatically going to measure that point back to the point we shot. The other thing we can do is use the add string command. That'll put a gap in the sidewalk, start a new chain, and we can go on our way. Again, I can turn on the offset. We do end up with a small gap in the offset chain, but I'm okay with that. We can begin an arc, combine the arc and the offset tool, and end the arc. Using some of the control codes on the CAD toolbar, like begin a join, end a join, join to point, start and end a tangential arc, and offset allow you to easily collect information and do offsets. Since this is new construction, we can also use the offset command to measure curb and gutter. I can shoot the flow line because that's where the critical water drainage comes in. And then I can have it offset the top of curb and the flag. So if I hit the offset tool, instead of just doing one offset, we're going to do two. So the first offset is 18 inches to the right, which would be a positive number and 0.2 up higher. The second offset is just three tenths to the left and up half a foot. I can use the right arrow here to put left or I could have flagged that as a negative number. Now we're going to measure the flow line. Observation stored. Just as an example, you could accidentally say you missed a point. I can turn off the join, turn off the offset, back up and take an inlet shot. Turn back on the offset command, it remembers, and continue measuring our flow line. Once again, we can combine the start curve command with the offset command. And if we want an opening where the sidewalk ramp is, we can either use the plus string or we can do the begin again. I'll use the plus string, except I forgot to start. This is still on curve. I can edit that point and add the start tangent arc then continue measuring my curb and gutter. So in this video, we used the begin, end, join to point, start and stop arcs, as well as the ignore and the offset. Thanks for watching another Siler Instrument quick tip.